you know he's into you if you perceive that he's nervous on the first date, the first phone call, anything like that, right? If you can feel the part of him that's trying to impress you and or kind of nervous, then right out the gate, I can tell you right now, that dude's trying to figure out a way to make sure you understand that he gets that this is important and he sees your value as a human. Blessings and blessings, beautiful soul. My name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. And today's conversation transmission is the five signs that he's really into you. Now I'm going to start this whole conversation by caveating and sort of giving you a context for what I mean when I say he's into you and uh, just sort of breaking down why I'm qualified to share this. Number one, I've been a heterosexual male my whole life. For the last 13 something years, I've been coaching men and women through the stuff that blocks them from being fully expressed and in their power and in their unapologetic selves. And the thing that comes up most in my coaching sessions, whether it's single people or people in relationships, is always relationship stuff. Relationship dynamics is one of the biggest pieces in the work. And oftentimes, you know, when I'm coaching some of my single friends and helping them, they just don't understand the male species. They think that we are the same, but we're not. And so oftentimes when I'm decoding things, they're like, what? Are you serious? And I'm like, yep. And uh, that is one of the reasons why I am doing this podcast and also going to be sharing a lot more. So make sure you go through my YouTube channel or my podcast and look for things that may serve you on your journey. So we're going to start with, uh, I'm not going to call this number one, but I will say, let's call this zero. Let's call this a bonus. I'm going to start with a bonus. Bonus is you know he's into you if you perceive that he's nervous on the first date, the first phone call, anything like that, right? If you can feel the part of him that's trying to impress you and or kind of nervous, then right out the gate, I can tell you right now, that dude's trying to figure out a way to make sure you understand that he gets that this is important and he sees your value as a human. With that said, number one, The first way that I believe that you can tell whether a guy likes you is if he tells you. Men often don't do that. We're not that forthright or forthcoming. And sometimes men can sort of, you know, be in their heads or play games, right? Depending on the type of man you're talking about. But if he says, Hey, I'm, I'm kind of digging this, whether he says, I'm digging you and I want to marry you, or he says, Hey, like, this is pretty fun. Like, I dig your vibe, I dig your style, and he's super complimentary, and he's he's sharing things about your interaction that he likes. Believe him. Believe him because, yes, there are dudes out there who will just say stuff like that to get in your, you know, to have sex. Uh, But for the most part, if you're talking about somebody who's of any type of value or quality, if he says that, he means it. So believe him. Number two, the second way I believe you can know whether a man is into you is by the amount of time he puts into the relationship, the communication, even if it's early, if he goes out of his way to spend time with you. Like I can remember, you know, early on with Alexi and I, when we first started dating, You know, she'd say something like, oh, yeah, you know, only have 30 minutes um, and I'm I'm going to be working out all the way up in Hollywood. And I know you live, you know, pretty far. So no worries. And I'll say, no, 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 it's it's all good. I'm I'm going to be in the area anyway. Or I'd make up a reason. I'd move mountains. I'd go out of my way to make sure she understood that even if she only had 30 minutes, I wanted to spend that 30 minutes with her. I'll never forget. Um. This was maybe like our fifth date. We still hadn't kissed yet. We kissed at the end of this, but she had uh, a uh, she had to fly to New York, and 
I volunteered. Hey, I, I can drop you off the airport. Don't you don't need to Uber. It's all good. I got it. I can I can drop you off. And she's like, you sure? And yeah. I'm like, you know what? Matter of fact, let's go get some food. Then I'll drop you off. And it turned into this beautiful date. And at the end of it, when I dropped her off, we went to hug, and then we did the whole head pull back thing, and we made out, and it was our first kiss. Now, again, this is a sign when a man tries to find ways to be in your space. He is telling you subliminally, subtly, directly, he likes you. Now, uh, the third way that you know whether a man is really into you or not is if he is already planning a second or third date. If while you're on the date or at the end, he starts to say, well, you know what? They, they do have that concert next month. Like we should probably get tickets now kind of deal. If he's planting little things where you two can hang out again soon, that dude is telling you without telling you that he sees a future with you. And oftentimes, yeah, I think, of course, for a woman, she wants to feel, you know, claimed and have the man's direct, like, commitment. But these are ways that men are committing. He's suddenly telling you, I want to go further and further and further. So that's number three. Number four is uh, a more modern thing. But if he posts pictures of you and him, first of all, on social media or anywhere, he likes you. Number two, if he doesn't post pictures of you, but there's like subtle innuendos, like if you are on his Instagram stories or something, or his status says like in a really good place with really good people or, or, or a really good person, or, you know, he takes a picture of the food or your feet or the concert and, and it says something like sweet or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Maybe he's not overtly putting a picture of your face and saying, this will be my new girlfriend. But what he is saying is like, I want the world to know that I'm feeling good about who I'm with. So that's number four. Number five is again, not so direct, but it, but it kind of is. If he is bantering with you. If there's like a playful funness and back and forth sort of tennis match of, you know, playfulness or nerding out, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. Alexi and I, when we first started dating, she came to my house, um, maybe three dates in or whatever. And we watched the documentary ashes and snow. And then she went over to my, um, my library at the time, which was like a hundred books. And she pulled out a couple of books and she looked in to see if I had actually read these books and she could see I had underlined them and wrote things and all of the stuff. And we started nerding out. Like we genuinely started going back and forth about different theories and her understanding of God and my understanding of God. And there was so much playfulness, but also serious, interesting banter that it felt like, you know, it went on for hours, but it felt like, you know, no time and all the time in the world. And so if a man is trying to make you laugh, trying to show interest in whatever you're interested in, he is telling you without a shadow of a doubt that he is deeply into you. So those are my five. Uh, if this resonated, touched your heart in any form or fashion, and you know someone who's single who needs to hear this information, please share it. Uh, otherwise, please leave a comment below with which one resonated, popped off the page, really sort of opened your eyes, or had you go like, oh, that's interesting. I never thought of it that way. Uh, below in the comment section, if this is on YouTube or Instagram. Blessings and blessings to every single one of you. I appreciate you so much. If you are new to the family and you have not worked with me, I have quite a few epic programs and things that are very affordable and easy to get to at PrestonSmiles.com. Head over there right now and I'll talk to you soon.